Hello everyone and welcome to the Chef's Cove channel. So today we will be cooking up a western classic dish, the spaghetti and meatballs. And yes, you must have guessed it right. It's going to be with an Indian twist. The ingredients are displayed right in front of your screen. You can pause the video if you want to note it down. Uh, the ingredients displayed are for the meatballs, which are very easily available. Next we have the ingredients for the gravy or sauce that we will be mixing with the spaghetti. Uh, the sp other than the tomato puree, almost everything is readily available in our kitchen. So we will start by cutting up the bread into small cubes. Uh, as you can see, I'm struggling in the screen because that bread was quite moist, but it really does not matter. Now, in case you are wondering why we are using breadcrumbs, then let me tell you, it is to mix with the meatballs to give it a nice dense texture. We will put it in a bowl. Now we will add some 250 gram of minced chicken meat with it. Add some chopped garlic. Some black pepper powder. And salt according to your own taste buds. Some chopped green chilies. and some chopped coriander leaves. We have also added some diced cheese. You can add extra or you can decrease the amount. It totally depends upon you. We will add one teaspoon or two teaspoon egg white. This is uh, usually done for the binding so that when we are cooking the meatballs it does not get split we will mix it well and make sure that there are no lumps in it now we will make some tiny balls as the name suggests meatballs so we will be making some small balls with the minced meat This is a major step. We need to coat the balls in wheat or you can see uh, whole wheat flour, not maida, it's whole wheat atta. Now take a pan and add some oil to it. We will heat it till it's warm enough for the meatballs to fry. The oil is warm enough. Now we will slowly add the meatballs to it. We need to shallow fry it till it is golden brown. You can see the oil is not so much that the uh, balls will be completely immersed in it. So we need to keep turning them over and over again. As you can see the balls are golden brown and perfectly cooked. So we will remove it and keep it aside. Now in the same pan with the same oil, we will add some chopped onions to it and saute till it is light brown in color. Because of the meatballs being fried in the same oil previously, 
The color of the onions may look a little brown, but there's nothing to worry about. We will add 1 spoon ginger garlic paste. Also add 2 bay leaves to it and fry. Cook all of it well. It's time to add our one bowl of tomato puree. We will cook the tomato puree till it is properly cooked. The color changes to a darker red. Mix it well. The tomato puree is now properly cooked. We will now add some chopped chilies to it. Some chili flakes. One teaspoon will be enough. And some salt as per taste. Mix it all well. It's time to add the meatballs, slowly add them to the gravy and mix it all well. We will cook the meatballs with the sauce for 10 minutes in low flame so that the insides of the meatballs are also cooked properly. After 10 minutes, the gravy as well as the meatball is perfectly cooked. We will add the spaghetti to it. Mix the spaghetti with the gravy properly. We will also add some amul fresh cream to it just to add some little bit of richness to the texture. You can skip this step if you don't want to add the cream to it. It's not a mandatory step. Mix it all well together. Our dish is ready and it looks absolutely delicious and trust me it did taste amazing. You can garnish it with some diced cheese and some chopped green onion. If you liked our recipe, please show us your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. Also do press the bell icon for future updates.